Hello, good day everyone. This is Tex, welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a 55 inch Sony Smart LED TV. Model KD55X75K. It's not turning on and no standby light indicator. I'll show you how to repair it. If you are new to this channel and found it informative, why not consider subscribing for more great content? And make sure to like and ring the notification bell to never miss a video like this. So let's get started. The TV is not turning on, so let's measure the main power supply secondary voltages. We can measure the voltage from the cathodes of the rectifier diodes. 4.3 volts onto this diode. And 80 volts onto the other diode. This is also a rectifier diode, the cathode is at the center so we will measure it there. No voltage was measured. Let's disconnect the wires going to the main board and see if the voltages will change. The voltage now is 6.2 volts, which is higher. And we now have a voltage on this diode at 19.1 volts. Seems we have a short circuit on the main board. There are signs of corrosion on the terminal connector. Let's set our multimeter to continuity mode and check for any shorted rail lines. Beep means shorted. We have a shorted rail line. Let's remove the main board and see the other side.
As you can see more corrosion building up on the rail line. Let's clean it with WD-40. The corroded line is shorted. Let's cut the corroded rail line and see which side is shorted. The short circuit is only on the terminal connector. Let's cut the trace and check if the short circuit will disappear.
The short circuit is still there. This is a multi-layer circuit board. The short circuit may be in the center layer. We will not attempt to dig further inside, as it may disturb other traces within. Let's just bypass the shorted trace, hoping there is no other connection to it. Seems it is only the audio amplifier that is connected. Let's cut the two wires from the connector, and connect directly to the power of the audio amplifier. Neat. We now solder it to the rail power line of the audio amplifier. Let's place back the main board and see if it will work.
The TV seems working now. A few moments later. The TV is now working great. The customer did not mention that the TV had been in contact with water or any other liquid. Luckily, the panel is not also contact with water. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. You can help this channel by liking and subscribing. Ring the notification bell to keep you updated. Once again this is Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.